were happy with the form that you could look forward to back on turf. Yeah, I just on the point last time it went wrong for it. She didn't enjoy that, and it was a thousand. Back in distance, it wasn't the right race for her, that's all. She finished really well today. Yeah, listen, um, just for the public, the track's very, very firm today. It's like concrete out there, so for us, a lot of gate speed, and they go up there, it's going to suit them. Yeah, uh, we did look at that pen of 21, and uh, walking the course, there's no mat underneath. It's just the grass sticking out, so you're going to be flying. It feels a lot harder than 21, I'll be honest. It feels very, very fast out there. But um, just well done to the whole yard, to Tara, to the, the, the owners. Well done to everyone. Well, thanks very much for the feedback, Chase. Well done. Thank you. Tara standing by in the winner's box, getting us started as far as bipods are concerned. And uh, Tara, I'm sure you were very optimistic making your way back to turf. Yeah, not really. If you listen to my podcast with, with Morris V, um, I actually made her one of my best bets of the day. I said, you know, she's got an each way chance. My, I thought the danger would have been Yvette's horse, Scottish Ellie. Um, but you know what? We, we won the race, and I think she's won well. She deserved it. And, you know, a huge thank you to Mario and, and today's. I uh, actually got a look at her. She's one of the first horses out before she got saddled, and uh, she was ringing there. I think Fussy was leading her. She looked magnificent. She looked like a leopard. Yeah, she's a little firecracker. She's uh, quite precocious. You know, she doesn't run with back shoes on because you just can't touch her behind. Um, watching her walk this morning with, with the lads at home, I mean, she was on her toes. She was on her toes in the parade ring. And, you know, she's just a wee thing, but she's full of heart. And, you know, well done to, to the guys at home, to Gavin, to my sponsors, Morris V, and I swear to start the weekend. It certainly is. Quickly, Tara, touch on your run as a head for us. Lead man, he's such an honest sort. Red heading, herring's new, but she finds that form. She can be there. Accelero, Omega, oh, they are absolute soldiers. And Beethoven at the back. Yeah, I think we've got a, we just need a bit of lady luck today. Nadine, a lot of outside horses, you know, are joining us for the weekend. Our horses always prepped, you know, to the hilt. We're here to win races. We're not here, you know, just to, to be grandstand participants. Yeah. Um, Leadman, always got a chance, a little ATM machine. He'll enjoy the long straight today. He's got a galloping weight. Then we've got <coughs> Red Herring, lovely filly. I spoke to Sterling Miller during the week. Um, if she doesn't quite need the run, I think she'll be thereabouts. I think, you know, she's going to enjoy the Eastern Cape. Then we've got my old man, um, <laughs> Accelero. He's going to retire today regardless. Um, so, yeah, he's got a chance. And then we've got Omega. Also in the sprint, it's a very, very tough lineup of sprinters. Yvette's got all her bases heavily guarded. So I'll utmost respect for Sir Frenchie. Um, and then we've got Beethoven. He ran in the mile last time out. He didn't disgrace himself. Um, bringing him back in trip again today. He was spot on this morning when I watched him walking. I have a look at him in the parade ring. He's just dappled up from head to toe. He's looking a million dollars. Tara, thank you so much. And of course, the cherry on top, this is a racing association bonus race. So uh, Mr. Ferreira gets to walk away with an extra 20,000 rand cherry on top. Very well done to Tara and uh, everyone behind her and the team there, Gavin Fenta, of course, and Chase has ridden a fantastic race. And great feedback there from Chase. So take heed of that. It is very fast. The course is running quick. So do take note of that. Very well done to all concerned. And Mr. Ferreira, great bonus win. Billy Ann Wenson, they all set.